And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Now that is one spooky old castle. It was even spookier 200 years ago. According to an old legend, Lord Tyran and Lady Valtira lived there, and by evil magic they drew their energy from the trees in the forest. They kept on until the trees were all used up. With their energy supply gone, well, they had to do something. So Lord Tyran and Lady Valtira went to sleep, and slept for centuries, waiting for the trees in the forest to grow. We will sleep, Valtira, while the energy in the trees grows strong and the world forgets how wicked we were. Don't worry, my pet. We've included you in our plans. Shall we? Good night, little Sega. I shall awaken first to make sure all is well. Good night, Taran. Take care of Sega. Go on, Sego, and sleep. And so they went to sleep. A sleep of 200 years, so the legend says. And while they slept, the forest grew back, stronger than ever. Which means, if the legend is true, that Valtira and Turan could be waking up any time now. Well, as long as they don't do it tonight. Don't worry, Adam. Even if they're already awake, it's the trees they're after, not you. Well, I hope you're right. But you will protect me, won't you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Adam, look! Careful! We don't want to scare them away. Tila, you said we were going on a wild horse roundup, but you didn't say they had wings. Shh! You frightened them. Yeah, well, they frightened me. Get your lasso ready. <laughs> Valtira always loved the winged horses. It is time. Maybe their neighing will wake her at last. The horses. I hear the winged horses. I am awake. Sego! But we've been asleep a long time. He's awake! We must find him!
But my long sleep has not restored my beauty. Nevertheless, there still remains power. And so power I shall have. Ah. Soon Tehran and I will be ready to meet the inhabitants of this place. And once again, make them our slaves. Are we at horse? So now? Hey! Whoa! Not so fast! Whoa! Looks like my pal, the horse, took me up on my deal. I've never been able to get close enough to ride a winged horse. <sighs> Believe me, it's not all it's cracked up to be. He reminds me of our handsome Lord Turan. Easy go. Your Lord Turan? Then you must be... <laughs> the Lady Valtira. And I take you for my slave. I have dedicated all my evil power towards rebuilding our kingdom for Valtira's awakening. And yet she seems to prefer this other to myself. Well, my friend, she will soon learn who her lord truly is. Adam, where are you? This is no time for hide-and-seek games, Adam. I'm getting worried. You've frozen me with your spell, Valtira. Why? You are to be my slave. And until you accept me as your master, you shall remain frozen. No! You must release me. Only a free man can help you now. What can you do that I can't? Try me and see. Very well. You are free. Ah, thank you, my lady. A traitor! He was concerned only for himself! <sighs> the length I'll go to save somebody's pet. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> <laughs> I know your anger, but it doesn't frighten me, not in the least. Why should that voice sound familiar? Valtera? I don't know where you've come from, stranger, but please, save my little pet. Well, maybe Valtera's not as selfish as I thought. They go, let's get out of here. They shall not escape. Don't worry, little fella. What can he do from up there? I shall absorb the energy of this tree. It will make me strong. <laughs> I wish I hadn't asked. Hey, up there! I don't like people who destroy trees. My feelings exactly. At last, the treacherous Valtira and I come once again, face to face. Who are you? You don't know me, then? Release me! Let me go! Well, Sago, 
Here goes the human catapult. Who are you? Let's get out of here first and ask questions later. Altira dares ask who I am. She has forgotten me. She will pay for that. This is a secret entrance to the castle. Follow me. I too know secret ways into the castle, my lady. And you and I and your handsome rescuer shall meet again. <laughs> tried to make Prince Adam your slave. Why haven't you attempted to do the same with me? Seiko trusts you. And so do I. And I'm starting to learn I'd rather have friends than slaves. That's Adam's horse! But no sign of him! I hope he wasn't foolish enough to go into that haunted old castle. I'd better check it out. Look at this place. Ooh, I'd hate to see the spider who spun those. Empty! Then the legends of Turan and Baltira could be true. Which means... Adam could be in great danger. What has become of it? Oh, no matter. My power shall make it beautiful once more. Be careful, Valterra. Power doesn't create beauty any more than slavery creates friends. Oh, what nonsense you speak! Soon you shall see my throne, and that of Lord Turan. I command the power to come forth! Thrones of Altira and Turan. Tell me now that power can't win back beauty. <laughs> for this character. Whew. This should hold until we find him a new home. He-Man, we should have found Tyrion by now. You don't suppose the snake did something to him? Valtera, I don't think so. Or that awful, ugly man in the forest. If either of them have hurt Lord Turan, I'll... Let me go! We'll never get through that. You forget? I can reduce that vine to ashes. Yeah, and bring the whole castle crashing down on our heads. As of now, that vine is the only thing holding this castle together. Come, there is another way. Tila! Hey man, is that you? We're on our way, Tila. Please, hurry! Yes. The sooner your friend and the Lady Valtira arrive, the sooner we can deal with them as well. Oh, it's the ugly one again. 
Ugly indeed. If I am ugly to your sight, it is because each time throughout the lonely years I have called upon the power to rebuild our kingdom, my lady, the power itself has warped me and made me what I am. And you are Turan? Yes, but it seems you prefer to be with him rather than me. Unfortunately, though, this is the one the power will now enslave to my will. He-Man! Look out! Hey! <laughs> and now, Valtira, I have to decide what to do with you. My Lord Turan, forgive my failings. But it is not more slaves we need, but friends who are free. Quick, after him! You shall not escape my wrath, He-Man. And now you shall feel the full power of Tyran. Turan, no! You will destroy us all! I command the power to come forth! What have I done? Destroyed our castle, my dear. Let's get out of here! Hurry! But why should I leave? Now that my lady no longer cares for me... Don't be so sure that she does not. This way. Hurry! Oh no! Sago is still back there! I'll get him! Turan, be careful! Don't worry, Sago! Let me give you a hand. Thanks for the help, friend. I'll meet you outside. There's one last rescue I want to make. was my evil use of our magical power that caused this. Evil power which I, from this point forth, renounce. Well done, Tyran. And I, as well. And in place of that evil, we shall live in state with joy. And freedom. Hello up there. Adam, He-Man just saved us, but he was caught inside. No, Tila, I was helping He-Man rescue a giant snake. And I can assure you, he's, uh, all right. Thank goodness. That is, after he helped me down from the top of a 200-foot tree. What were you doing up there? Well, I gave horseback riding one last try. But those winged horses could really buck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not again. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Let's me touch it. It never would before. You're different now. Maybe you'd like to write it. Only if Turan does, too. Go on, it's easy. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Sego. Let's go. Goodbye, goodbye good, good friends. friends. Goodbye. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Yeah. As long as someone else is doing the writing. <laughs> as for me, I prefer to walk home. You wait, Adam. Someday I'll make a hero out of you. Just like... 
Hey, man. Ah,、uh, maybe someday, Tila. Maybe. <laughs> someday. Today we met some people who had slept for over 200 years. Well, we don't need that much sleep, but it is important to get enough sleep. So here's some things to remember: don't eat a lot before going to bed. A glass of milk or a piece of fruit makes a good bedtime snack. Try to go to bed at the same time every night and avoid any exercise or excitement before going to bed. Well, good night. Oh, good night, Granger.